Here we go. says anything on it? Yeah. Uh, it just tells of who ran it, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as long as it's not kids, right? Because uh, YouTube, yeah. that's the only thing they nail you for on my channel is, uh, is kids. Yeah, you can't have show minors, right? Without their permission, yeah, parents' permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube rules. That's pretty cool, though, eh? so big I can't even get it all in the one shot. <laughs> wow, it's massive. I didn't think it was, I didn't realize it was this big. Uh, there was a, it was once a church, but then it, it, there was a fire and that's what happened. It burned. That's why it's like this. Uh, it's ruins because it burned. It caught in fire. Built in yeah, it's very old. It's supposedly the oldest. Yeah, gutted by fire in 1970. There it is, right there. Yeah. Stabilized and landscaped in 74. So four years later. Yeah, they fixed it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wow, it was ever big. I didn't uh I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. Oh, there's a picture here that shows you what it looked like. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's nice yeah. Look at the bell, it's all like melted and stuff. It must have fell in the fire. That's crazy. Oh yeah, look at the picture of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ruins will be closed, remain closed until spring 2024. Oh, I guess, <clears throat> I guess because of the winter time they don't want you in here maybe, like the... So it is open. Oh yeah, it's open, yeah. The only thing I was worried about, I thought maybe it'd be like a wedding today, oh, being, oh, sorry. being a wedding, uh, a wedding today, yeah, or something, but yeah. Wow, look at that, the damage to that. That's like really thick steel, like that is solid. And it melted. Yeah, it must have been way up high and then when it fell, when it burnt, and then, yeah. That's some serious damage. Cause that thing's, that thing's huge. That's like a big bell. This is 1859, New York. It's all good on it, who made it? Milanese or Milanese? I can't pronounce that. Huh. Yeah, that must have fell really hard when it came down. That's uh, it's pretty good damage. All the 
over here in the corner and give you guys some perspective. Here's my wife. Uh, this is the interior of the church. The ruins. Definitely very photogenic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Must be parishioners, you would say, people that went here, I guess, and has stuff to do with it. Yeah, the roof was all wood and burnt off in the fire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. Do not walk on. Still lots of mosquitoes in here, though. <laughs> guys been chasing me around ever since I walked in. Yeah, I think Stone it's... Steps are cool, too. Yeah. Yeah. This is probably original. This was probably the entrance. Yeah. And then... I don't think that's original though, probably when it was an actual church. They probably built that afterwards maybe to when they shored it up. Unless they were rooms, they could have been rooms. Oh no, that's the found, that'd be the foundation because yeah. there's the, that's where the beams would have been right there. You can see where all the beams were. I think this was part of it. Yeah, it was probably part of the foundation, yeah. So you're actually kind of walking in like a sub, below, a sub level because the floor was probably higher. Yeah. huge. I didn't expect it to be this big. It's very like kind of Scottish looking, you know what I mean? Reminds me of something you'd see in Scotland. It's so big, I can't even get it all on the camera. shadiest spot <laughs> I don't know maybe the I guess the priest's room maybe like maybe like yeah might originally been where like I guess like a clergyman or priest or you want to call him would yeah well, this, this back part's still in use. It's still active. They still use it for stuff. I think that's like where the, cha the actual indoor chapel is for it now. Because they do weddings and stuff here. and like This would have been gorgeous to get married in. Yeah. Would have had high, high They'd ceilings in it. amazing outdoor wedding right here. Oh yeah, well that's yeah. what they yeah they they have weddings in it. That's that's why I was afraid when we came here today. I was like, oh I hope we can explore it because uh, they Had do I a... known that we could have gotten married here. Oh. This would have been nice for a door. Yeah. But we're already married to it. <laughs> You're stuck <laughs> with me. It sucks to be us. Yeah, no redos, no redos. Yeah, I bet you had big stained glass windows in it and stuff too. A little bird nest right there. That's pretty neat. Imagine when they built this, the amount of work they did to build this. Pretty wild. It's 
It's impressive. so big like you can't even get all of it in one shot <laughs> oh so it's a national historic site hmm. Hmm. yeah maybe oh. uh yeah possibly i think so yeah i gave dates two dates or something that's the date they Yeah, there's a staircase going down, so that might have been like the priest's chambers back in here, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe just a back exit. Oh, it looks really old in here. So it's original. So, yeah, I guess just out to the out to the graveyard. Yeah. So I think they built this back part afterwards as like an actual if it rains and they have you you know, you schedule your wedding here, you can still have your wedding. Mm -hmm. And then you know, so you're not uh, rained out, so to speak. But this is all the original part here, though. Turn and look at me. <laughs> Get the camera out of your face for a second. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get your picture? I said, yeah. did you get your picture? Ken asked me for some pictures of you uh, while you're doing your thing. thing. <laughs> My YouTube thing. Were those for like candles, the little holes? Where? The little squares? Uh, uh, possibly. I think they're actually support beams. Like it was all built out of wood, so there would have been. No, they're empty. <laughs> they yeah, can't be supporting anything. They're empty. There was a fire, right? And there would have been wooden beams going across, so they burnt the whole roof collapsed. All the way around, they have them in specific yeah. spots. Yeah, yeah, they're support beams for the roof. Yeah, there were beams, wooden beams going across for the roof. That's what held the roof up. And then when it burnt, they just collapsed. Even the ones down here on the ground. Uh, it's probably something to do with support. I don't think that's for candles. No, I think that's actually support. There was something in them for support. Like, all that's there yeah. in the order. Unless it was done after the fact. After like, it burnt, maybe it they... It looks like it was yeah. built this way. Yeah, that's intentional, yeah. So I'm just yeah. wondering, like, yeah. are you sure it's not... No, Meant that's. For, like, candles I think that's them? support of some kind. I don't know. I'm just guessing that could be what the bottom ones were for. Because, like, they're even as they go across. They're in the same place when they go across. Well, the so. ones up high would definitely be for support beams, but the ones down low could have been for that. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, it's not like it's a big floor in between. If, no. If that's what it is. It's, you're, uh, you can't have anybody taller than five foot in there. And they'd hit their head. <laughs> could go up and look at the picture again and we'd know. Because the other picture's up there of what it looked like before it, uh, before it burned. I just want to get a picture now that those people aren't there. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I'm not sure how much they like renovated, like when they changed it all, when they stabilized it. I don't know what they did. 
I'm only guessing, I'm not a structural engineer, so I, I'm pretty sure some of those holes would be for beams, though, like support beams. Yeah. yeah, see that? This this is foundation, so those are definitely for the floor. The ones at mid-level, I'm not sure what they would be for. Like, that can't be for a second floor, because... No. Six foot no. But the floor, you can actually see where the floor used to be. Like, the floor is right about where that mortar... Yeah, that white, that's the floor, that's the original foundation. You can just tell by the way it's built, that's the floor. But, yeah. Some of them are definitely for beams, the others I don't know. Like, some are for the floor and then some are to support the ceiling, but uh, the ones in the middle level, yeah, it could have been for candles. Or maybe when the wall was originally built, that's like some form of like, something to do with the something to do with the pressure of the way the stones built maybe like yeah i'm not sure but oh well there's the answer yeah. born in Condot, scotland oh that explains right there that might be why just yeah. thought i'd tell you that yeah Yeah, there's a few of them. Oh, well, if anything, it gives birds homes. Yeah. Could literally shoot a movie here. Make a pretty wild movie set. Like. You can see a bit of like uh, scorching on the stone up high where the fire was, but it's very cleaned it up pretty good. You can see the odd spot here and there where it's kind of like I don't know, it has like yeah. all the edges of the building. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's very photogenic. Very photogenic. People that paint too would come here and probably paint paint it and stuff. I think it's because it's so open too. That's why it looks so big. Like if you, not that I've been in a lot of churches, but when you go in them, they don't look that big. But I think it's it's deceiving because like all the all the structures there, so it kind of makes it look smaller. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. Stand kind of there in the sun and look at me for a minute. Going to take my picture. Yeah, no shortage of mosquitoes. At least there's no ticks, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, that way yeah. I got you in part of the background here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild. We'll have to go and walk around the outside of it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty crazy, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think the the religion, the I don't know if it's Catholic or whatever. It's very. I think that's why there's a lot of French. We saw a lot of French people looking at it because like that's the major religion in Quebec. I think. Yeah, that's impressive. The uh, the bell. It's pretty wild. Some hill square nuts on it. <laughs> oh, that conservation. Yeah, those people give it down, the people that are in here looking at it too, it gives a good perspective, like how small they are compared to the size of it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They had lights in them. Lights? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like it might have been lighting, yeah. 
like yeah there's some you can see there's this there is some support like see they went yeah. up so it was structural how it was anchored i don't know like i'm not a but they do an have expert like, yeah. but it was impressive it was around it, it was round it like i thought it was straight across but it's actually round it so that's you know it had like a see the little booth thing yeah, for the priest the to stand in thing. yeah like the little that's where you splash the water yeah where the priest stood no i think that's where the priest stood to, like to give the sermon oh, was up there in that top i'm pretty sure that's up here though. top left corner they usually stand up here i do i think they do both i think they can stand here and then they can stand there and like depending There's probably like depending on the what they're doing, the you know, maybe yeah. Uh, hard to say. I'm not very religious, so I don't know all the aspects of it. But maybe for different services, different locations. Yeah. But yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool, anyways. first good explorer for the summer that's for sure I can't even get like the whole thing in a shot it's so big weird I clicked on that it brought up Lizzie Borden <laughs> Lizzie Borden <laughs> like everything yeah. black and white and Lizzie Borden and Lizzie Borden weird. wow <laughs> was she uh, part of this church? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> he was a murderer. Yeah. Wow. Well, so the legend says. So the legend says, yeah. I don't know. I guess it depends on what your viewpoint of it is. Some say she did it, some say she didn't. Lizzie Borden? Yeah. No, she murdered her parents. Oh, was that her, yeah. The story was that Lizzie Borden murdered her. I think it was her father first, then her mother, and I think she might have. She may have murdered another well, person or a sibling, but um, I think it was she did it. Or I can't remember the full story, but I think it was over. Oh, it's Elizabeth Bathory, maybe. I'm oh, oh, the yeah, yeah, the the, the bathed in the blood of the young girls, yeah. Yeah, that's a, she, that's in Europe. That's Lizzie Borden's here in Canada. Yeah. But yeah, no, she um, supposedly murdered her parents because of their very strict and religious. Like they say that she was angry about them being strict with her stuff. I think if I remember correctly, it's been a long time since I read the the story on that. She axe murdered her father and stepmother. Oh, Fall hey. River, Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts, so not even Canadian. There you go. So, yeah. I thought that was Canadian, but no, I guess it's American. It's just funny that, you know, you look at the ruins of a church and that's what comes up. <laughs> it's exactly what I clicked on, and it's like, it's too cheap. It's like, that's, I'm like, well, that's, uh, that's yeah. funny, yeah. Yeah. Go around to the backside? Yeah. Go around for a walk, walk around the property. Got more signs here. Our pioneering I fathers. I was just waiting. I was just waiting. It was Especially like, uh, in a church. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of figured. You are that girl. That is for sure. Home. Oh, so immigration. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, it's probably a very, very old cemetery. Yeah. Even the shadows look like, yeah. you know. If you came here at the right time when the sun was setting behind it, you'd get some amazing photographs. Like, it's definitely pretty cool. 
I don't know. I guess it's because like of the way it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sitting on the window. Sitting on the window. I can. It'll be a channel first, picture and picture, picture and video, I guess. Okay, let's see if I can do this. How close do you want me to be? Well, enough that you can see me in my shadow. The shadow? About here? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Snap a few. Let's see, I'll try to move back so I can get you in the full full frame as long as I don't desecrate someone's grave here step on it by accident I'm trying to walk where I'm walking so I don't step over a grave all right okay let's see if I can do this easy sorry guys I'll have to borrow my finger here Yeah, it's very photogenic. It's definitely a pretty cool spot. All I keep thinking of is like, you know the movie Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with Kevin Costner? Yeah. For some reason, it's all I can think about when I'm looking at this is like, it looks like it's from that movie. Like, it looks like something out of the movie set. I guess I should mention that. That's one reason why we're here right now. We've kind of held off in exploring any abandoned houses right now. We tried to do some the other day and uh, we didn't. We took two steps into the long grass and we were plastered in ticks. So they're really bad right now in, in Ontario this time of year. And, and, and this year, particularly for some reason, the ticks seem to be really, really bad. So we're kind of holding off exploring any abandoned houses that are too overgrown. Just in, I think they've all hatched, so we're kind of holding off a bit to see if maybe the ticks die down a bit. So like I said, last year we went, we did a lot of our explores in August. Yeah. And we didn't see any ticks. And then yes, the other day we went, not yesterday, but the other day when we went, man, we were coated in them. See, this is the part here I think like uh, they built after the fact for like wedding services and that when there's like a rainy day and stuff. Not original to this. Another photo. Yeah, I want to climb up there. Don't you get in trouble. You know, some people will say. You're degrading history for a photo. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna argue with you. I live with you. <laughs> oh, I just stand there. Okay. I thought you were gonna climb up. Sorry, guys. I'm just taking a photo. You're probably pointing in a weird direction, but just trying to take a few photos for my wife. Got it? I did. Yeah, I did. Stand there. I will stand there. All right. You're gonna get my photo and everybody on YouTube's photo. Well, everybody that watches my channel. All right. Photo time. Everybody smile. Put the camera down just like two inches. There you go. 
There you go. <laughs> yeah, there's a tractor, like a farmer working a field way back there. You can see him through that gap way. Yeah. I mean, not that, uh, I don't know how you would say it. I was going to say, like, it would be a nice place to be buried. Not that <laughs> anywhere is a nice place to be buried, but if you're going to be buried somewhere, it's a beautiful spot, you know. It's quiet, tranquil. You know, there's, like, you're up on a little hill, beautiful view. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could be a... Maybe a family plot, maybe, yeah. Sturkenboom. Sturkenboom. Huh. That's a different name. German, maybe? Sturkenboom. Or Scottish. Yeah. Could be, Being yeah. Being a Scottish church. Could be, yeah. Holland. Laid the rest in Holland. Oh, so Got maybe... McDonald. Maybe Holland. I don't know if Holland is... I think Holland does have a bit of German in it, maybe. There's like McDonald. There's yeah. McDonald. Yeah. McRab. Dupuis. Lots of Mick's. Yeah. McCullough. So yeah, yeah, Scottish, yeah, yeah, the Mick. I'm guessing it's all Scottish. I from the Highlands. Yeah. I am. I'm actually Scottish, but I mean, I'm so far removed. Like you Scottish, know, English, and we're so far removed. You're not really technically you're Canadian. We're born here, so I mean. Every once in a while, when you make fun of my words, <laughs> that's when I'm saying it funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's the. I try not to talk. Like yeah. That. It's kind of weird now. The churches don't actually have a physical bell, just a, like a speaker that plays the sound of a bell. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice, beautiful day. Just for you. My tatas are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your tatas are sweating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nice and maintained. So have to watch her. Don't get people's cars in the shot. The license plates. But we'll try to get a shot here to the side so you guys can see. Yeah, the flowers are all coming out, eh? Yeah, so like I was saying, guys, we might be doing a little more sort of this kind of thing for a little bit. More touristy kind of spots. Until the ticks kind of pass. We will try to explore some abandoned houses if we can. But uh, we're trying to be really careful about Lyme disease. Like, the ticks are really bad this year, more so than they usually are. It's actually been in the news and stuff. They've been talking about how bad they are, so... That's why we thought we'd come check beautiful spots like this out and bring us along. At least here I don't have to worry about you swearing because usually when you're video my videos I have to say, honey. Because you know it's a church. Because <laughs> it's a church, yeah. <laughs> I, I, even though we're not religious, I know you'll watch your language <laughs> out of respect. Yeah. Yeah. You have respect. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> for these people. <laughs> uh, I don't think that respect runs very deep. Though. <laughs> hey, I didn't swear. I didn't say anything uh, bad about God. What more do you want? I <laughs> uh, guess yeah, yeah. I guess you get a pat. You definitely get a pass for that. Yeah, that's some, that tree is really beautiful. Yeah. Like I'd say, I did yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Do one more shot just to show everybody the I front. Didn't watch uh, my mouth when the kids around. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I just gotta watch. There's no kids here. Yeah. <laughs> Give you guys one last view there. Sorry, I made fun of the erection. <laughs> Erected, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if we're going to end on a note on the video, that's the way to end it. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you on the next one.